G'day everybody, it's me again. Thought I'd give you guys a little update on the Iveco um, and what I have been mucking around with here and the uh, issues that I've been fighting. Uh, it's finally been realised after Iveco coming out and scanning the truck with their computer that this module here, what's known as a tachograph, was missing. It's basically a black box, like a flight recorder for the truck. Uh, records uh, things like engine RPM, uh, vehicle speed, uh, brake pressure, that kind of stuff, I believe. Maybe I'm not right on all of those functions, but most of it it records. Uh, it also stores the information on here about uh, vehicle speed and the odometer, which is two of the issues I've got. My speedo doesn't work, my odometer doesn't work. Other issue being that when the previous company or whoever decided that it would be good to kill this truck, um, removed the old module, instead of just uh, pulling the plugs out and then taking it out, they just whack the whole harness. So I have to very carefully make up some new harness connectors. Um, luckily I've got pinouts. I have all of the uh, description of the wires and the pinouts. Um, the sensor ABCD is a bit of a bitch. Um, and I'll go through that in a second, but I did find a solution. I should be right with it. Um, and yeah, let's go over to the truck and have a look there. Uh, by the way, I was yeah just using some little brass spade connectors. Solder them on, heat shrink them up so it's nice and you know nothing's going to short. So yeah, that, that part, the, the actual fixing part's not the interesting part. The solutions I came up with might be a little bit interesting, however. Um, it's difficult to trace it back because this is the mess I've got up here. When somebody decided that they didn't want that tachograph in the truck anymore. They just literally cut everything, the CAN bus, everything, they just went whoomp, with a pair of side cutters probably. There's the radio wires. There's another random orange power wire here, I'm going to have to trace that back. There's more random power wires here, probably for a CB, definitely for a CB. I'm going to have to trace that back, looks like there's a UHF and AM there. Um, no, I may even put uh, UHF and AM back in here, we'll see how I go, but I just cannot believe that somebody would fucking just loop a harness like that, being an idiot. It's, it, it, oh, it kills me, it really does. I um, found out what the problem with the ABS is, it's just a phonic wheel and a sensor which is out of adjustment. Hopefully I get Iveco to fix that too. My phone is ringing. I will have to call you back in a second, mate. Um, yeah, now, up in the top of the uh, cab up there, there was these four wires here which are in, a, are in a harness together, or in a sheath together. Now, they're your tachograph wires. There's four of them, and they're not labelled at all up the top. Luckily, they are labelled with their Iveco number code at this end. And I'll just be able to match the numbers to the colour codes. See, 5514, 5515, etc. The four different colours. Uh, I'll try to get that dead centre of the screen. We've got green, grey, purple and red. So yeah, I'll just have to write down which number's which and then match that back to the appropriate number on the wiring diagram for the tachograph. Which is sensor A, signal B, signal B, signal and their appropriate numbers there. So I do have a 90% solution at the moment. The last of the issues being is that this will have to go back to Iveco um, to actually have the unit completely programmed into the truck I've been told. So I'm going to attempt that and then we'll see how it goes. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>